Hey, my name is Jordan Checkets. Um, I'm an entrepreneur, and so one of the companies that we've started is an injection molding company called Patriot Molding. And uh, we're here today and going to give you a brief tour, show you around, and uh, hopefully answer any questions that you might have. This is all warehouse space. Um, we, won't, we only have about 5,000 square feet here. Uh, we're a relatively new company. Um, we've been doing the injection molding for about a year and a half now. Um, here's our small office space right here. Um, we have four employees that work here. Um, and with four employees, we're able to produce a lot of, a lot of product. All right, so we're standing here next to one of the injection molding machines. Uh, this is a brand new 120 ton JSW machine. Uh, top of the line, 100% electric. Um, and so what, what we're doing here and what you can see here is um, behind us here we have the dryer. This actually dries all the material, it removes all the moisture and all the humidity. And then from there it comes to our actual machine. Now if you look right here, you can actually see the material going through. This is all coming down into the screw and barrel. Um, you can see the little light right there. And that has a light sensor on it, so as soon as the material runs low, it automatically siphons more material from our dryer. Um, so the whole process of loading the machines with material is pretty automated. Uh, once the material goes down, it goes into the screw and barrel, and the screw and barrel creates a great amount of friction so that it, it actually turns that material into a liquid. It, it gets so hot that it turns it into a liquid. And then from there, it shoots it into our mold. And our mold is just right over here. You can kind of see it closed in the doorway there, and there it opens up. We're able to manufacture a pair of bear paws every 23 seconds using this machine. And then we just have a belt system that leads up to Jacob up there. He clips off the runners. This part right here is what they call the runner. And he just clips those off of our product to make sure they have a nice smooth finish on the handle. So that'll be the next part that we show you is our packaging. Okay, so this is our packaging machine. It's set up right now to run bear paws. Uh, we can change the different components of this to, to do blister packaging for just about anything that fits within this size here. Um, Bear Paw Products is a company, they actually source these materials out of a company in Florida called Andex. Um, so these cards and these blisters, they purchase and then ship it to us so that we can do the packaging as soon as the product's manufactured. And the way that we have this set up is the, the cards actually go up here and then the blisters you can see right here. And this uses compressed air uh, to automatically suction those entities and place them where we need to. Um, and then the back part right there is going to actually heat, heat seal it. So the, the whole packaging process is pretty automated with the exception of one person. And that's one person standing here just putting the product into the blister. So we'll, we'll actually kind of run this process so that you can see it. Um, it's really pretty slick. So right here I'm placing the blisters, or the, the, the bear paws in the blister, okay? This unit to the left of me is taking one of the cards and putting it on top. When it's directly opposite of me, it's actually sealing the blister to the card. And then on the right hand side of me, it's picking up the finished product and sliding it down for packaging while simultaneously placing a new blister for me to put bear paws in. And then we can come over and you can see all these that have come down. Uh, with bear paws, they sell enough on Amazon. You can see these packages are actually identical. Um, everything except for the barcode. Uh, the one on the left is what they use for the retail stores. They, they ship these to Cabela's, uh, Target's. Uh, the one on the right, we just optimize for Amazon so that they don't have to worry about putting sticker labels on or anything else. Um, again, it's prob probably only feasible if you have a, a product where you sell a larger quantity because um, uh, there's pretty big quantity breaks for, uh, for packaging, but for bear paws it works out great. And so typically we have one person standing here as well, uh, is they'll just take these and then pack it in the corrugate. Um, so we've got a box set up here you can see, and so we'll just take these, and put them in, and then we have somebody packaging here, and then from here, uh, once it's packaged and taped up, we send it over to our shipping department and it stays there and stores there until it's needed. As far as bear paws go, uh, we charge uh, bear paw products. 
about 85 cents in labor to do the manufacturing, packaging, boxing, shipping, uh, everything. They just send us shipping labels pretty much. Um, and then of course they have additional costs. They do pay for the cards and the blisters and they actually purchase the material and have that shipped to us as well. Uh, we at Patriot Molding have capabilities of purchasing material uh, and just storing that for you, but um, they get a, good, a better rate by just purchasing it themselves in larger quantities and then they just have it sent to us. So again, our manufacturing portion uh, for the packaging and everything is about 85 cents and then um, they've got a few costs on top of that, but honestly, we're able to uh, manufacture these, I would guess, uh, as cheap or, or very competitive with what China could do um, because again, we've got a lot of the components automated. Uh, China is really beats us on labor. That, that's where they have the biggest advantage. Um, our biggest advantage, of course, is we don't have to worry about international shipping or customs or any of that. Um, but the beautiful thing about manufacturing in the United States is that you have quality assurance, you have better communication skills, uh, communication language, no language barriers. Um, and so for this particular product, I think it's a home run in the United States. I think it's better here than it would be in China.